Hey guys and welcome back. So I showed you guys my project the other day that I made for my mom, a stove cover. And today I'm going to look at some stain to see exactly which one is going to match the best. So I'm going to open up some colors. I'm going to show them to you guys and we're going to see which one we like the best. Okay guys, so I have two different kinds. I have one, this is made by Pittsburgh. And this is called, um, in semi-transparent, this is a cedar natural tone. And what's kind of nice about these little cans is that this has the um, stain and sealant all in one. So there's a look at that one. And the other one is, and now this is a stain and poly. This is by Verithane, which I really like that brand too. This one is a pecan satin. Yep. And this has stain and poly all in one too. So these I really like. We're going to open them up so you guys can see. All right. So we'll open up the first guy. <laughs> and I probably should have opened them up beforehand. But uh, I don't know. Uh, hold up. Okay, guys. So I made a little sample. And here's the sample. This is very similar to the material that I use for the stove top. This one has the polyurethane in it, which is the Verithane brand. And that is the pecan satin. It's very pretty. See the sheen on it. And then the other one, it looks kind of beachy, but that one is called the um, Cedar Natural Tone. I don't know. I kind of like this one because it has the poly and everything uh, built into it. And it really brings out a lot of the natural grains. This one is more kind of orangey and I don't think I really like that one. So I think I'm going to go with this guy because it has the polyurethane and everything all into one. And it really brings out the, um, the grain in the product as opposed to this one, which looks kind of orangey. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this, the other ones. So we're gonna go with that one. All right. Okay, so I got my top right here and we are just gonna go to town on this baby. Got our stain right here. Oh, that's really pretty. I really like that the tones are very subtle and I like it goes on really smooth and I even have just kind of a cheap brush that I'm using for this product because anything that you um, use with poly in it, it usually ends up drying out and it gets very very um, hard and you can't really use it unless you put it in some um, oh some acetone or some mineral spirits so the only thing about these cheap brushes is that the bristles the bristles come off really quickly but that's okay we're still going to use it uh yeah i really like that it's very subtle it's a very subtle kind of kind of stain and it should bring out the uh grains in that in that wood really nice and not be too heavy you know I don't like stains that really overtake the natural color of the wood. Yeah, you guys see that? This, that's looking really nice. I want to make sure I put a nice, good one coat because I'll probably uh, probably have to put more than one coat on it because my mom's putting it on her stove and she's probably going to sit a lot of stuff on here and uh, we don't want it to scratch up too much because this is like a pine product wood and everybody knows pine is really soft so we want to make sure that it's coated enough yeah so it'll last last for quite a while yeah guys that is really pretty when i'm done i'll uh pick up the camera and show you guys that is really pretty wow yeah i really like that that's gorgeous. Definitely. Definitely a good pick. I 
I hope you guys can see this, um, how pretty this is. But I'll come back and show you. So let me finish this up and then we'll bring it, bring you guys back. Okay guys, so I got this all stained and I did the edges too as well. And I really like it. It really brought the grain um, of the plywood. Now this is a plywood product and it's like uh, really thin. It's like uh, like less than a quarter. I think it's three, like 30 seconds. Yeah, it's real, really thin. You can kind of tell. Let me show you from the side. See how thin it is. Okay, from the side you can really see how thin it is. It's less than a quarter of an inch thin. And then I have my quarter inch board. You can kind of see the seam. I hope you guys, this is coming out. But I really like the color. And it's really kind of hard to tell because <laughs> the walls are kind of orangey. But I really like it. Yeah. Looks really nice. It's very pecan -y. I I really like that color. Hoping hoping you guys are getting a good a good angle on this. See how the sheen on it? And what's weird is that it's kind of see the bubbles on it. I don't know if that's natural. So that's why I definitely have to put two coats on this. So we'll see. But there you go, guys. I got the first coat of stain on. I really like the the stain with the poly in it. The only thing is it takes a couple coats, so it doesn't bubble up like that. Uh, but that's okay. We got time. So thanks for watching, guys.